North Korea vs US allies. North Korea fires more missiles, second launch in three days. Short-range weapons were fired east towards Japan, after the US redeployed an aircraft carrier close to the Korean peninsula. North Korea has carried out a record number of weapons tests this year, increasing tension across the divided peninsula. North Korea has fired two short-range ballistic missiles eastwards, its second weapons launch in three days, after the United States redeployed an aircraft carrier to the region and carried out joint military drills with South Korea. This is the sixth time in the short period just counting the ones from the end of September, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida told reporters. This absolutely cannot be tolerated. The first missile was launched from a site near North Korea's capital Pyongyang at 6.01 am, 21.01 GMT, with a second 22 minutes later. In a statement, South Korea's military strongly condemned the launches and said they were a clear violation of United Nations Security Council resolutions. The country's National Security Council also condemned the launches as an unacceptable challenge to the international community and warned of a stronger response. Thursday's launches took place hours after the U.S. abruptly repositioned its aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan to waters off the Korean peninsula, following rare joint missile drills with South Korea, in what South Korea's military called an attempt to demonstrate the Allies' firm will to counter Pyongyang's continued provocations following the IRBM launch. Experts said the weapon was probably a Wasong-12 missile, which is capable of reaching the U.S. territory of Guam in the Pacific, and can carry a nuclear warhead. The United Nations Security Council began meeting to discuss the IRBM launch on Wednesday, hours before the latest launches, with the U.S. accusing China and Russia of enabling North Korean leader Kim Jong-un by blocking attempts to strengthen sanctions on Pyongyang over its nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs. North Korea does not usually send a representative to the council when the country is being discussed, but its foreign ministry issued a statement saying the launches were the just counteraction measures of the Korean People's Army on South Korea-US joint drills. It condemned Washington for repositioning the carrier and accused the US and South Korea of escalating the military tensions on the Korean peninsula with their recent drills. The U.S. military's Indo-Pacific Command, however, reiterated that its commitment to its allies remained ironclad and said while Thursday's launches posed no immediate threat to the U.S., South Korea or Japan they highlighted. North Korea has carried out an unprecedented number of missile tests this year, 38 excluding cruise missiles, amid long-stalled nuclear diplomacy with the U.S. Analysts say the country wants to expand its military arsenal to boost its leverage in future negotiations with Washington and warn it may soon carry out its first nuclear test since September 2017. Japan and South Korea said Thursday's first missile flew for about 350 kilometers, 217 miles, to an altitude of between 80 kilometers, 50 miles, and 100 kilometers, 62 miles. The second one covered 800 kilometers, 497 miles, at an estimated altitude of between 50 kilometers, 31 miles, and 60 kilometers, 37 miles. The launch site was also new, raising suspicions the weapons were fired from a mobile launcher. Many of North Korea's most recent short-range ballistic missiles are designed to fly on a lower, depressed trajectory and potentially maneuver, complicating efforts to detect and intercept them. Tokyo lodged a vehement protest with North Korea over Thursday's launches. 
North Korea has relentlessly and unilaterally escalated its provocation especially since the beginning of this year, Japan's Defense Minister Yasukazu Imata told reporters. China's Deputy UN Ambassador Geng Shuang said the council needed to play a constructive role instead of relying solely on strong rhetoric or pressure. China and Russia also criticized the US, Japan and South Korea for holding military exercises. Pyongyang has not yet confirmed Tuesday's IRBM launch. Usually, such a high-profile test would be reported in state media with pictures of Kim overseeing proceedings. There has not been any mention of it in North Korean media, and Kim Jong-un has not been seen in public for a month, noted Al Jazeera's Rob McBride, who is in Seoul.